What you got for me? I'd love to talk about Michael Jordan and The Last Dance. How do you feel about Michael Jordan? Oh, I think he's the best basketball player ever. Actually, I'd say Hakeem Olajuwon's the better. Was he before Jordan? Uh, he was like the same time, but he was a center, so no one cares. He's like had some stats that no one's ever done. Like what? At least five points, steals, assists, rebounds, and blocks in a game. And I think he's done it like two or three times. They call it like a five-by-five. Five. I don't know much about basketball at all, okay. other than when the Pistons were really good in the early 2000s. Yep. And then I watched The Last Dance. Okay. So I know that... Why the fuck can't I think of his name? Dennis Rodman. Yes. I know he's like a really good defensive player. Yeah. Is he, they like you don't give him the ball to score. Like Well yeah. He'd be there for like But is he like on par with Elijah Wood? <laughs> Hakeem Elijah Wan. Hakeem or yeah. Akeem? Well, it was both. He switched. Hakeem Elijah Wan. Yeah. Was he was like Dennis Rodman a, as good a defensive player or not not? Yeah, at all? he okay. he's had a few defensive player of the years. Yeah, he played for the Pistons, and then he played for the Bulls. He was in the Bad Boys because yep. he was Lambeer. I just all this is all in the last dance. <laughs> I, I didn't pay attention at all. Yeah, no, like even like from like 2004, like when the Pest, Pistons won, like mm-hmm. to now, like the game has changed like significantly. Immense, yeah, and it's like the same from like Michael Jordan's era to like 2004. Like just the way they do stuff is way different. And before Jordan, the game was one way, and then he changed things. Yes, in that he, I mean, there were other superstars in the game, Bird, Johnson, but he was the first one that like changed it to like you can build an entire franchise as far as like merchandising. Everything can be built and hinged on one person. Yeah, it's more of like a business rather like... than it's not about the team. It's about the superstar yeah like superstars do get like the calls because they're the superstar they're the face of the nba so did did jordan make that happen not not intentionally i don't think intentionally no because like when he played the pistons there was like the jordan rules yeah and like it's basically make the a team beat you and not michael jordan Mm -hmm. like i just found it fascinating and to phil jackson's credit he when he started he was like, all right, Doug, whatever, the the Doug Liddell, Chuck Liddell's older brother. <laughs> he was like, Jordan is everything. Get the ball to Jordan. He'll he'll win us the game, which wasn't a bad Strategy. tactic. It yeah. worked, <laughs> except for when the Pistons came along. But Phil Jackson was like, Jordan is the best. He's not going to be the keystone. Where it's there's going to be a team. It's going to be a team effort. Ever we I want to raise everyone up and. That way, if they try and shut down Jordan, we still have a hell of a team that can yeah, win. And that's why Phil Jackson is like... He's the he's greatest. The only, he, him and Doug Collins are the only coaches I can name you. So, like, to it's, me, Jackson's the greatest. It's between, like, Phil Jackson and Red Arbach. But Look he at how him. high up my socks go, dude. He was, like, for the Celtics back in, like, the 60s when they won a ton of championships. They won, like, seven in yeah. a row. Like you said, their previous coach going through Michael Jordan, they would get far in the playoffs, but they could like never get over the hump to the championship, I think. Phil Jackson came in and told them what the fuck was up. Yeah, because he, he has three three-peats and then a back-to-back championship. So he has 11 championships as a coach. I haven't even seen The Last Dance. You yet. haven't? No. You're like the person <laughs> I would have expected to watch it. I know. It's you should. Just, it's on Netflix. I know. It's just sitting there. I'm there. watching it for the second time. Like back in the day, dudes watched sports. To the, they still do, but like the guys that don't, they're just like, "What are you? What are you? Are you afraid of it? Are you sissy? No, I just don't care. I liked hockey when the Wings, like late '90s Wings, were amazing, but they have been very bad recently. It'll come back though, because Steve Eiserman now. Eiserman. Yeah, is the manager, general manager. Oh, nice. Who's the coach? Is it still uh... Blashel? I had no idea who that was. That was not yeah, who I was going to guess. he's not very good. Oh. So is it the coach's fault or is it the player's fault? It... It's Donald Trump's fault. We have an excellent team, a fantastic team. I own the Ivanka Trumps. They're all white. I mean, they're all right. They've never won a game. I kind of have a, like a flamboyant Donald Trump. Rosie O'Donnell is fat. <laughs> that was his thing he would always like talk shit about rosie o'donnell it's like a freudian slip for trump to be like her name is rosie o'donnell he just puts donald into everything barack donald so we were over here and now <laughs> just what's this oh over. michael jordan <laughs>